of the scribes and Pharisees and self-righteous people, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. The only way we can receive we can have righteousness is if we give it to us by God. We receive the righteousness of God by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what happens. The moment you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you receive the righteousness of God, it becomes yours as a free gift. And salvation is yours. What a wonderful blessing it is to know that your soul is saved. You're on your way to heaven. And you'll never see the flames of hell. God does not want you to be in hell, and that's why I come here. I'm concerned about your soul that leaves your body at the moment of death. Where will you be one second after you die? It's either going to be heaven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, or it's going to be down in hell if you reject or neglect the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't push God away, my friend. Don't reject the Lord Jesus Christ, because if you do, you do it one too many times, and God will give up and strive with you by the Holy Spirit, bringing you into conviction of sin, righteousness, and judgment. You need to get saved now. Time is running out. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming back again to take the Christians to be fair with himself, as I said. Don't be left behind to go through the tribulation period upon the earth. And not only that, but then eventually to be passed into the lake of fire and brimstone with you. Where the eye of God and the fire is not quenched. Oh, my friend, God does not want that for you. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to receive forgiveness for your sin. And the only way is through the once for all sacrifice of Jesus Christ upon the cross of Calvary. You have heard that it was said, and people of all time, thou shalt not kill. In other words, don't commit murder. And that includes abortion and euthanasia, my friend. And whosoever shall kill him shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of, ju of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rapah, shall be in danger of the council, but whosoever shall say thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there, um, rememberest that thy brother hath fought against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way, First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily or truly I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost father. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off. Cast it from thee, for it is possible for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not thy whole body should be cast into hell. It has been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her the writing of divorcement. But I say unto you, that whosoever putteth away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, committed adultery. Again, you have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not persuade thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine own. But I say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one here right or black. But yet you, you let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. In other words, yes, yes, or no, no. Just mean what you say and say what you mean. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. You have heard that it has been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. 
I say to you that you resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him, uh, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. Whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. In other words, go with him too. And whosoever, uh, yeah, give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Ye have heard that it been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbour and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemy. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, do ye, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Not this, he is talking to his disciples here. I want to just go back here, says here, And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish of that, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, cast it from thee. It is, it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, that, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. What I want to do is explain this, this little bit of a saying here. It's not saying to literally cut off your, your hand or your or pluck out your eye. It's saying, don't let anything, I mean anything, stop you from getting saved, from becoming a child of God. It's important that we don't let anything come in between God and ourselves. In other words, we need to get right with God. You see, when we're born in this world, we're the enemies of God. And that's the problem. We can afford to have enemies on earth. You know, man, woman, boys, girls, whatever. You know, it's no big deal. But if we are an enemy of God, we're in big trouble. If we're the enemies of Almighty God. And we are His enemies. By our wicked works and by our sinful behavior. We need to become the friends of God. And God wants to be your friend. He's not the one who's gone astray. We've gone astray. We've turned everyone to His own way. And the Lord hath laid on the Lord Jesus Christ the iniquity of us all. And so we need to understand there's only one sacrifice for sin. And don't let anything, whether it's your eye, what you look at, with your eyes, or what you're doing with your hand or your foot where you go, don't let anything stop you from coming to Christ. You need to come to Christ this afternoon. Time is running out. If we don't get right with God, we might not have another opportunity. As I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ unto you, you need to respond to it. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that thou shalt be saved. Just come in repentance. Acknowledge that you're a sinner. Change your mind. Acknowledge, yes, I realize that I'm a sinner. And then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that God promises you everlasting life. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins, either heaven or hell, depending on what you've done with the Lord Jesus Christ. There is the look me up the uplifting.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.